Hi, it's Joe. Welcome to the Quilt Report. Well, here I am. Uh, last week I talked about uh, and showed how I installed my quilt top in the old-fashioned frame that I learned to quilt on so many years ago. Okay. I just wanted to talk about uh, the quilling stitch today. What I'm using is some Presencia, um, uh, you know, pearl cotton. This is uh, size number 12, a little smaller than number eight, uh, which is often used. And I'm using a needle, a, a huge needle uh, with a big eye, so I can just stick this number 12 pearl cotton right through the eye. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, a number three between. The needles for hand quilting are uh, um, called betweens. This is a number three, which is the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, I get my needles from a Colonial Needle Company. So a number three quilting between uh, is so big, uh, uh, there's a lot of stress on the quilting needle, the way it has to rock up and down. And so they make it uh, really sturdy. And um, that's the thing about a between. It's not delicate like some of the other needles, like a sharp, for instance. So uh, um, what I do is I cut a long piece of thread, about three feet, uh, because... Uh, here's how I do it. It's twice as long as I need because what I'm going to do is to quilt both ends. So I'll start right here. I'm just going to start quilting. You don't need a, uh, a knot at the beginning or anything when I use this method. And look at that. I can take about four stitches. And then for my fifth stitch, I just go between the layers to the next place where I want to quilt. And then I'll go the other way. So uh, now I'm quilting away from myself. And so I use the side of the thimble. I like to quilt this way because uh, uh, a big factor in all of my quilting is that I, I like to keep my wrist straight. And now I'm going to, there we go. What I'm doing is these little double red lines. And so I stand the needle up and then I never touch the needle again with my right hand other than uh, to feel for it with my thumb. I feel for it with my thumb underneath. I feel for it with my thumb on top. I feel underneath and I feel that point on top. Then I can go between the layers. And well, the way I uh, uh, quilt, I use my underneath hand as a, uh, well, it, it just bounces the needle back up. So here I'll show you. I have my little demonstration hoop here. I stand up the needle, and then I let go. I can use any one of my fingers, and then I feel for it with the point of my thumb. I mean, I feel for the point with my thumb underneath, and then I feel with my thumb on top, my thumb underneath, my thumb on top, my thumb underneath, and my thumb on top. All right. That's how I do it. So I start by standing the needle up, putting the thimble on there, rolling it down. You don't stick it into your finger because that hurts and it doesn't help anything. I feel for the point with this thumb. Then I feel for the point with this thumb. Then I feel for the point underneath. And uh, you'll notice that I'm covering up the point of the needle. I can't see it with my, uh, I can't see it, I can feel it with my thumb. Now you can gauge the length of the stitch. You can make it longer or shorter. 
It's very easy to do using this technique. Okay. That's all for today. I'm just going to keep quilting here the rest of the day. i got to get all the way around this thing. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.